Hey, Joe Bob Chamberman here. Um, got some exciting stuff to talk about today. Um, I just recently got a, a Dexcom. You can kind of see it there. Um, Dexcom G6. And I got a, um, <laughs> it's on my leg. I got a Omnipod. Yeah, that is an Omnipod. So yes, I just got these uh, uh, two things. I am a type one diabetic. That's what these are for. So we're just gonna talk about it. And remember, as I'm doing this, I am not a medical professional. I'm a screen printer, so I am not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a anything. I'm just a t-shirt printer, so I'm probably one of the furthest things away from a medical professional that you can be. Um, so I'm just sharing the information that I have read out of these books and the experience I have had with it since having this. And hopefully that can help you, you know, decide whether or not you want to talk to your medical professional or your healthcare provider or your doctor about it. So we're going to talk about the Dexcom G6 first and then talk about the Omnipod 5 because the Omnipod 5 uses the Dexcom G6 to help it out. All right, so let's let's go over the information real quick. The Dexcom G6 is a continuous glucose monitoring system. Um, it monitors your blood sugar and gives you results every five minutes. So yeah, just um, basically, it's got a um, a little wire that that sticks underneath your skin. You know, you can barely even feel it, but it sticks underneath your skin, and so it's just able to continuously monitor your your, your glucose. Um, for me, that has really allowed me the ability to prevent high or low blood sugars. Part of my problem has been my I've been having my sugar dropping at night, or you know, wake up and it's really high. So that is not really a problem anymore. Instead of reacting to my sugars when they're high or low, you know, like I find out my sugar's 400, you know, either because I'm urinating a lot or because I'm really thirsty and take my blood sugar, find out it's 400, and now I'm trying to get it to come down. So I'm reacting to my blood sugars. This allows me to see which way my blood sugar is trending up or down and it gives me the ability to to be proactive instead of waiting for it to get really high or waiting for it to drop really low i can I, this gives me a signal and lets me know that it's heading in that direction so i can either drink a soda eat a candy bar to bring my sugar up before it crashes or i can start taking a little more insulin before it gets out of control too high. So that has been already an awesome thing for me. You know, it, it, it's also overall allowing me to spend more time in my range where I'm supposed to be, where my glucose levels need to be, which is gonna overall lower my A1C. Yes, so this is, is really awesome for me. It's really done a great job. Um, it's super simple to use um, and it does not hurt. It's all good things. It, 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 uh, it comes with a receiver, its own little receiver, but um, I, once I hooked up the uh, Omnipod, I don't need this receiver anymore. In fact, this receiver, I guess, can hinder it because this needs to communicate with this, and if this gets in the middle, it messes it up. It doesn't allow it to communicate. So instead, I use my cell phone for this, and this come with a special receiver. All right, so this comes with two apps. It comes with the uh, regular app for it, which shows you your, your current blood sugars, and it shows you which way you're trending, up or down. Um, and then it also shows you, you can go all the way back and show the past 24 hours and where you've been in the past 24 hours, you know, kind of showing your highs and lows and if you've been in range. Then it's got a, another app, it's called the Clarity app, and that app actually analyzes data from the Dexcom is able to chart your readings and give you what it thinks your um, A1C might be, and it just kind of lets you see how you've been doing overall. Yeah, it shows you if like you've had any patterns or anything like that. So the Dexcom Clarity app really just kind of analyzes the data and, and gives you a, a picture or a profile of what your blood sugars have been for I think up to 90 days. So that's what this does. It's like I said, it's a continuous glucose monitoring system. This is what it looks like when you get it out of the box. This is not actually the receiver itself or the transmitter itself. This is um, an insertion device for the, to, to house the transmitter. So this thing is actually going to um, put this little cannula underneath your skin. You can't see it in there, but there's a little cannula in there. That is going to um, insert underneath your skin. Yeah, so it's gonna insert the cannula underneath your skin. So basically what that thing is, is it's this white part and this purple housing, all right? Now you see that gray part in the middle there? The gray part is the actual transmitter. That is an in that the transmitter comes separate so that insertion device all it does is inserts this purple housing and this um white sticky part and inserts the cannula underneath your skin and then after you do that then you insert the transmitter well at least that's that's 
that's what I do. And that's what it suggests I do too. That's how you do that. It's really simple, guys. All you do is you put this up against your skin. Basically, you gotta peel these off, break off this tab. Put it against your skin just like so. You wouldn't put it on your arm right here. Push this orange button down and it'll stick the um, pad to you and insert the cannula underneath your skin. Then it's good for up to 10 days. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just so simple. This is life-changing stuff. I've had it for probably 20 days now and it has already made such a huge impact on my ability to control my type 1 diabetes. Just this alone has changed my life, all right? So yeah, this is a continuous glucose monitoring system. If it interests you, talk to your medical professional about it. I'm just giving you my opinion. I'm not a medical professional and I'm giving you my experience. All right, so now we're gonna go from the Dexcom G6 and we're gonna talk about the Omnipod 5. Now the Omnipod 5 is a tubeless insulin pump. It delivers insulin sub sub subcutaneously. It communicates with the Dexcom and together it's almost like having a working pancreas. It's able to deliver little bitty amounts of insulin every five minutes depending upon your glucose level. Uh, and it helps keep you in range without causing a crash. That's why it does the little bitty increments. It, it pretty much is gonna do everything in its mathematical power to keep you in range or to keep you I think at 110. You can also uh, enter the carbs when you eat. Let's say I have 40 carbs. I'll enter the carbs into this receiver here. Ooh, my sugar's a little high because I just drank a smoothie and I didn't know how many carbs were in it. So yeah, let's go ahead and give me a little insulin. I need to add a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I click the bolus thing and I'm gonna enter how many carbs? Yeah, I'm gonna say 24 carbs. I'm gonna hit that green check button down there. Check. All right, now it's gonna say that it's gonna give me two units of insulin. Confirm and then I click the start button. And now it's going to start giving me insulin. Now if you listen very carefully, you might be able to hear the click as it actually gives me insulin. Yep, there it is guys. That thing is so cool. So it is giving me insulin right now. Just, it's just amazing, all right? So when it's in automatic mode and it's automatically giving you your insulin, depending upon what the Dexcom sends it, that is called Smart Adjust Technology. Uh, like I said, guys, this is some life-changing stuff and I wish it was available to everybody. It should be. I don't know why it's not. It's for type one diabetics, two years and up. Of course, it requires a prescription. The Omnipod 5 uses U100 insulins. Um, it also requires training. Uh, both of these, you're able to swim and shower, um, bathe, and all that stuff. I take a shower every day, and it has not messed any of this stuff up. So yeah, man, that's basically it. This is this is the Omnipod 5 and the Dexcom G6. I think they're really awesome, really amazing. We'll go ahead and open an Omnipod so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. We'll, we'll not open it. We'll just take one out of the box here. So this is the... Uh, the kit that it comes with here, you can see it. Um, you'll have a little syringe, that's how you fill it up. Yeah, you actually fill these up with insulin. You stick it to yourself and you get it started on the phone, inserts a cannula underneath your skin so it can just deliver insulin. So yeah, the Omnipod 5 lasts uh, three days, the Dexcom G6 lasts 10 days. That's really all the information I have, guys, that I, that I wanna give. Um, like I said, I am not a medical professional. I just kinda wanted to give an overview of the Omnipod 5 and the Dexcom G6. If you were thinking about talking to your doctor about these maybe this will help push you in that direction because like I said this is life-changing stuff this has already made a huge impact on the giving me the ability to control my type 1 diabetes because that's what it's all about it's all about control and this just really ups that level of control dramatically like I said I have already noticed a huge difference in my highs and lows I don't think I've been over 300 since I've had the Dexcom so yeah, it's pretty good, guys. And that's about all I got. I think at the very end of this video, I'm, I'm gonna fill one of these up, just to kind of show you guys how, how I do that. Just again, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how easy controlling your type one diabetes can be. Um, I hope you guys like this. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, let me know what you think about the uh, Omnipod 5 or the Dexcom G6. I hope I did this in a responsible way. So I tried to do this as responsible as I could. I'm, I'm not trying to give any medical advice or anything like that. That is not what this is. This is not medical advice. This is just me sharing my experience with you like I always do. I'm hoping that maybe this might give one of you guys the, the nudge that you need to go talk to your doctor about this. I got lucky on getting this. I'm really lucky. So um, that's all I got guys like subscribe comment and uh, until next week guys